Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And uh, today we have a pretty special video because at the end of this video, I do want to have 21,500 points, which means I'm able to afford every single reward at the end of leagues. Now, that was my original goal at the start of leagues, basically to reach the max amount basically to reach the max amount of points I need in order to get every single reward. But we're probably gonna be going even over that. But for this video, the goal is to reach 21,500 points. If you guys missed any of the previous videos, feel free to check the top of the description for the playlist. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys will enjoy today's video. So you may be wondering what the plan is right now. If you check my inventory, we are gonna be doing hard clue scrolls and alking all of this at the same time. After we're done alking everything, we then invest the money that we alk into broad arrowheads and then train our fletching up. So it's gonna be pretty good. I am using Tome of Fire with one charge, so I pretty much can do hards and do this at the same time. It's gonna be a bit slower, but that's basically what we're gonna be up to for a little bit of time. Well, I completely forgot about 97 magic. We're still just alking away. At the moment, we have over 7 million worth of money from just alking a bunch of random stuff we got from Clue Scrolls. And we have completed uh, five hards in the process. Okay, so here we go. I pretty much alked most of the things. I got just about, well, very close to 10 million. And if I combine all of these, there it is. We have a lot of money. We have 16 mil right now. We're just gonna quickly throw everything back in the bank. Grab these caskets, open them very quickly. So I'll basically spend everything on it. Uh, but yeah, let's open this 10. Very nice arma body right there instantly. If you look at the chat, we are closing very, I mean, we are getting very, very close to 500 clues in total. We will be finishing that in the very near future. This opening was pretty decent, actually, if it was a main game. So, uh, 2.5 mil from just 10 of them. Very nice, got the Gothic's boots there as well. I'll just pick this quickly and let's go ahead and buy a lot of broad arrowheads. So here we go, I think I'll do 100,000 broad arrowheads at a time, and you know what, it looks kind of nice with a 10 mil next to it, so that's very nice, but now, I am out of arrow shafts, so you know, we did 25 million of wood cutting XP, now we're gonna transform all of those redwood longs into the shafts, and uh, I'll do that while I edit the video, pretty much. Doing all the clue scrolls has the benefits of looking like an absolute beast, Oh man, I love this, the, the outfit. I wish I had like gilded boots or something. Because I don't think I can get anything gold on the boots. I need to see if I can do anything instead of the of, of the banner. But I like the banner because it's big, you know? Yet another Hespori. Let's see if we can get a bucket this time around. And we get Mahogany Seed and Kronos Seed. Unfortunately, no bucket. I am most likely going to be working on completing a bunch of level 90 stats. So the first one that I want to tackle is crafting. I'm very close to the first level and I do have quite a lot of uncuts in my bank and a lot of jewelry that I can make. So I think going for base 90s might be my priority. Here's 87. In order for me to continue training crafting, I need to get a bunch of gold bars and I ended up getting 81 smithing in the process. Now I do want to get to 83 smithing before I start using Lovakite as my resource of choice to train smithing all the way to 99 because at that point I can create tier 4 sets which are much better than tier 3 sets. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing I think over a thousand gold bars right now and then we're gonna either move on to crafting or maybe some Lovakite. 82 smithing, still doing my gold bars and I should be able to get one more. Here it is 83 and I am almost out of uh, gold ores. Very nice. A little bit over seven hours of fishing today to reach this level. Here is level 90 agility. Um, I could just jump in the winter Todd but I decided that I want to do it with fishing because I am going for 50 mil fishing. As you can see down here in the bottom left corner uh, I'm getting about 477k XP an hour. I've been AFK a little bit obviously because as you can see that's many hours of gameplay right there. So uh, this is not all actively playing. I think I can get up to like 600k maybe 700, 600k I think is the most realistic one. And then every now and then when I feel like it I can tick manipulate like this. This is also another thing that I like to do. Uh, it just depleted itself but anyways um yeah many many hours to reach this and a few more hours to reach my goal of 50 million fishing i will most likely not go pa past that 
Here we go, it has been a very long fishing day and I actually went a little bit over the XP I wanted to get, but 50 million fishing also accomplished, pushing us over 21,170 points. As we usually do, I'm just gonna hop a world right now and check the rank, but I should be gaining a lot of ranks with that. Now my new AFK spot is gonna be woodcutting redwoods, I do wanna get this up to 50 million as well, and after that the best AFK spot is going to be sand crabs, uh, all, all the way until 50 million. I'm basically gonna get 50 million all the stats where I don't have the XP multipliers for and the 100 million where I do. So uh, very nice. This amount of points is a lot of points. I am currently rank 80 in Twisted League, so that is very nice, and I decided I'm gonna do some melee training for now, uh, just to get to those 25 mil stats, uh, because, well, I can, and why not? I'm up to 19 million attack and defense XP, and up to 20 million strength XP, and now I will do 45 elite clue scrolls, and now I am going to do 45 elite clue scrolls and fletch in the process to hopefully get, uh, you know, 50 million fletching experience. There we go, we have completed uh, 45 elite clue strolls which we will open in just a second but very quickly we also were fletching this entire time and here it is 21,670 total points accomplished we have reached the goal of reaching over 21,500 points which means we can now unlock every single reward at the end of leagues so that is actually gonna be huge I'm really looking forward to it we are not done yet here though, I'll go for as many points as I can possibly get before the leagues end, but first we have 45 elite clue scrolls to open, let's see if we can get something cool. Alright, here we go, let's just go ahead and start opening the elite caskets, we can still get some mimics from this, so that's gonna be definitely something to look forward to. And ooh, royal gown bottom, uh, not really worth much, but... I guess it looks kind of cool, and we also got a first master, very nice, and uh, yeah, basically what we're going to be getting from these elites is not going to be anything special, uh, but still, we're just going to open them for points, pretty much, as we complete 100, we will be getting ourselves, um, well, uh, more points. So uh, there we go, the loot will not be anything spectacular, another ranger ties though, we already have one of those, um, that's a bit unfortunate there, uh, but we still have 34 left to go. Let's see if we can get something exciting. I mean, you never know when you can land on third age or perhaps a mimic. Very nice. We're gonna go ahead, kill the mimic, hopefully get something good. High chance on that third age drop table. And uh, yeah, let's just see if we can get lucky. Here we go, another Mimic completed, and that was kill count number 7. I do believe if I get 3 more, I get extra bit of points for that. But the most important part, let's see what we get from this Mimic. And we get 15 raw Mantares. That is... Not ideal, but we'll take it, Aid. Uh, it's always fun to kill Mimic, so let's see if we can get another one from these 31 caskets. Here we go, let's hope for something that we do not have yet. Uh, there's one thing that I actually forgot, and that was to check my collection log, but to be honest, I don't really care, so let's just keep opening. Oh, a cool one, two rune crossbows there. A lot of Master Clue Strolls. I do believe the drop rate of a Master Clue Stroll is actually 1 in 5 when it comes to um, Elites, so we should be getting a lot of those. Um, but yeah, here we go, 25 left to go pretty much, 21, ooh, and uh, still Dragon Mask, I'm pretty sure I don't have that yet, and the Rune Dragon ma Mask as well, for some reason, ooh, I'm actually really sad right now, that did not pop up, and as you can see, that's worth 6 million, and it didn't pop up, why did, wait, why, wait, that has a strength bonus, so technically, this are actually better for me to use than the Dragon Plate Skirt, I think. Just that one extra strength bonus is actually probably worth it when I'm doing the small... Um, when I'm doing the small uh, sand crabs, that is actually very nice. As you can see, it's also worth pretty much 6 million. Uh, that is... What? What? <laughs> wait! Wait, hello? Are we okay? What is this? What? Why do I get a... What? I got the same item, back to back. What? I mean, I'll take it. Thank you very much, game. Um, not that I need another one, but... Right, let's just, let's just do this, right? Let's just move it right here, move it right there, and then insert slash swap this right here, because this is pretty much my best in slot right now. I'll still move this about, uh, let's say, about here if I, you know, need to use it, but... Damn, that's very cool. It's very nice. Let's see if we can get something else from this 15. 
At least I have a pop-up, you know, and now I have the clue where it actually shows. Unfortunately though, on the side I am tracking loot, so we are gonna have to add plus 6 million to that loot, simply because, uh, well, we it didn't track it, the, that one. Oh my god, hello? Ranger gloves as well. Wait, what? Look at this, I actually have full ranger set? Oh no, I'm missing the body. Look at this though, I want to compare it to the van braces that I have right now, I don't know which one is better. Wait, bracers I guess. Alright, let's take a look. So we have an option to have uh, ancient bracers, or any other bracers in that... Uh... So we have this, or this, uh, where is it? I guess it is the same, so it doesn't really matter that we got it. It does look good though, and it does add 1.6 million to the whole uh, price check, so... That is very nice. Do we have any more? We do have eight more. Can we get something more cool? Like, we've gotten some really insane items. What the fuck? Dark tuxedo cuffs. <laughs> what is this? Now you're trolling. You can't even see this. What? This is so bad. You literally can't even notice the difference. It's really doomed. Anyways, big pirate hat. And we have four more. Three, two... Oh. Gold, black, dehyde body. Okay, that's kind of nice. Uh, the last one, we're milking it a little bit. Let's just drop this in the bank. And watch this. Let me get to third age on the last one. Pretty please. All right. So, there we go. 100 elite clue scrolls completed, giving us another 250 points. We are now almost at 22,000 points. I really wonder how many ranks we got, so I'm going to quickly hop worlds, uh, which should take me just a second. We're going to check. We started at about rank 110, I think. Um, and if I hop worlds... I must have gotten a lot of ranks uh, with uh, with all of those things that we just did, like 50 million fletching on top of 250 points for this. If I go on high scores right now, I am currently actually rank 73. Nice. All right, and uh, for the people wondering, the total loot of this opening, um, as I said earlier, we do need to add 6 million onto that because... Um, where is it? And yeah, you see, it only shows one Fremenic Kilt, not two of them. So uh, yeah, we pretty much made 21 million off of that Elite Clue Scroll opening. So that is very, very nice. As you can see, we also ended up getting nine Master Clue Scrolls, which is basically one in five completely. We had 45 and we, we opened all of them and we got nine in return. That's very nice. I do think I will be doing Masters at a later date, but I am very, very happy with this opening. We now have a new best in slot uh, melee gear, which is pretty much this. That is very nice. Quite a few of you guys still mention to this date what happened to the AFK account. And, uh, well, the AFK account, as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, I stopped playing on it. I stopped at about 56 million experience simply because I did not uh, enjoy playing, you know, two accounts anymore. And on top of that, I did everything I originally planned to do on this account, on my main account anyways. So this was just a nice little side project that I ended up not really fully fulfilling, uh, but still, uh, you know, the, the this account is here, I'm not gonna be making uh, any progress on this because I don't play it, uh, don't mind the name, I was just walking around RuneScape and gifting some people stuff for Christmas, I wanted to make a video out of it, but then I decided it was too low quality, so I didn't actually end up doing it, I still gave away like 25 million to random people around the game in free to play and whatnot, but I just didn't feel like the video was worth doing, but anyways, uh, this is where we end the video for today, I really do hope you guys are all going to have an amazing new year thank you so much for making uh, pretty much this year an amazing year for me um, thanks to you guys i get to you know escape from reality a little bit and just uh, do these videos have fun and a lot of you guys watch them so thank you very very much for that and yeah pretty much for new year we are uh, gonna start the new one off uh, on just about eighty thousand subs i think so yeah, you guys uh, really are awesome. As I always do at the end of these videos, I'd like to give a massive uh, thank you to my supporters. And a special big one goes out to High Potato, Taki and Arska. Thank you very much guys for supporting the channel on, you know, a little bit larger scale. And, you know, thank you everyone who, who just watches the videos. I appreciate you all and I'll see you again most likely in the new year with another video. And until then, have a beautiful day and enjoy. Bye-bye.